One of the reasons why she wanted to highlight that was the, again, just the professional repercussion. Like she denied having issues because she was afraid of professional repercussion. And what that professional repercussion is, is really a big question. It's a big unknown, right? Awareness of, you know, this particular situation. Sure. I remember it was a normal day. You know, we had, um, I had just seen her at my son's first birthday party. She was happy. She was happy. She was the happiest I'd seen her in a long time. Not to say she wasn't a happy person. She was on the outside. I mean, she looked making, she made looking beyond, like she made being on call at 3 a.m. in the morning look fabulous. I cried because I was relieved. The hope is that, you know, by changing these questions to having just one question saying, do you have X, Y, and Z, and does it, Im does it impair your ability to practice medicine? Hopefully that would be a step in the right direction to decrease those barriers to physicians or other healthcare professionals seeking. Yeah, the, the hurt doesn't go away. The loss doesn't go away. I, I sympathize with, uh, you know, the, the, the hurt she must have been going through or anybody would go through. It was, I was starting to have nightmares um, regarding the suicide. I never, I never saw any, I never saw anything, but it was just, I don't want to say my subconscious and the fact that, you know, the first socializing is because something was an emergency and that fell on our plate. Um, or don't yell at us, don't yell at us, don't uh, threaten us with violence, um, you know, because uh, we're, we're, we're humans too, we're somebody's spouse, daughter, son, you know, so just look, look at us as humans, we're not, we're not gods, we're not demigods, we're not superheroes, we're doing the best we can in a very broken system, trying to deliver patient care the best we can.